an area record, the fastest run in the NACAC area, not having the year she was hoping for. So moving away from her favorite event and the event she's typically done at the biggest stages in the world, the 1500, and moving up to the 5000, she has run 15, 17, 48 this year. So it'll be the view Stafford starting on the outside. You see here there in the purple kit, she's got hip number 18. The defending champion, Brianna Scott, will be to her inside. Julianne Stolle, Gracelyn Larkin, Eleanor Moran, Aaron Teschuk, Florence Caron, Siona Chisholm, Rebecca Bassett, Chloe Thomas, Caitlin Ayers, Jasmine Fair, Cleo Boyd, Catherine Boschman, Anne-Marie Como, Alexandra Lucky, Aaron Mahini, and Aliyah Brody. That is the start list for this third and final section, the senior women's 5,000 meters. Well, Scott's sort of a surprise winner in this event, and I don't say that with any disrespect last year. It was her first national win, and it was also allowed her to compete at her first international track and field competition. She went on to the World Championships in Budapest, Hungary. She started her athletic career playing volleyball for McGill and then turned to track. You can see she's by far the tallest athlete in the field. I'm tall, but I'm not even as tall as Ms. Scott, but uh, an excellent athlete all around, both, of course, on the track and on the volleyball court. She's from Vancouver. She's got a season's best of 15.23. Her lifetime best of 15.19 is from those Canadian championships last year. And there you see Gabby Debut Stafford just sitting on the outside of our early leader. That's Shauna Chisholm. And nothing really fast happening. Lots of bunching amongst these competitors. As we said, it's a shame not to see Regan Yee, but she's doing the right thing for her health, and we commend her for that. We're going to see Julianne Staley in there as well. Staley uh, actually competed at the Tokyo Olympics in this event with me, and so I have great memories of being in the village, even though it was a very short time. Of course, the last Olympics, we called the COVID Olympics, empty stadium, and not much time in the Japanese capital. Nonetheless, an exciting time, and Staley comes in with the best this year of 1507.93. Adam, her story is remarkable. She was always an excellent runner. She ran for Queen's University. She was the 2014 U Sport 3000 and cross country champion. But heading into the Olympic year in 2021, she had never broken 16 minutes in this event. By the end of that season, she had run 14.57, taking over a minute off and qualifying for her first games. An Olympic standard, 14.52 for these games in Paris. That's said, astounding. That's very quick. And as you said, Kate, no Canadian woman has run that standard yet. Regan Yee, though, as it stands right now, eligible for selection-based on her quota place, but we still have to wait and see as there still is, what are we down to now? Three days left in the quota window. Continues to be Chisholm up front. So Shauna Chisholm from Nova Scotia and competes for Notre Dame. She competed in the NCAA Outdoor Championships in this event this year. She was she finished at a very strong 1547.71. That was as she has the fourth best time in school history at the ACC Championships with 1532.93, and that is her personal best and her time coming in now they're coming up on the first thousand meters here it is not fast adam they are not going after standard tonight 309 29 that is well outside of 15 minutes never mind the olympic standard that's sort of what we expect again though you can see that track flag is blowing it's calmed from where it was but it is certainly not a still night so 309 puts them on pace for 1550. 
That was a clearance by Derek Theodore of Edmonton International in the men's pole vault at 4 meters 95. They're moving the bar now up to 505 for Derek and for Maxime Levy of Sherbrooke. Just the two men left in the pole vault competition. Derek Theodore looking for another Canadian championship in the pole vault. Donna Chisholm continuing to lead here in the senior women's 5,000 meters. W. Stafford tucked into third place right now, and the defending champion, Scott, looks to be in about sixth or seventh. And splitting the difference uh, up between our first and third, that is to say she's in second, Florence Caron. She's got a 15-32-22 best. She set that this year. She was a, she's been a standout on both sides of the border in the collegiate system, a transfer to Penn State over the last year. She was 14th at the most recent outdoor NCAA championships in the 10,000. Before that, third at the 2023 U-Sport 1500 meter and fourth in the 3000 and part of the team victory for cross country with Laval in 2022. She was, she contested the 1500 meter championships 1500 meter event, I should say, at these championships last year, finishing 12th. And I want to make note there wearing hip 13, that is Aaron Teschuk on the outside in the yellow kit. Teschuk, an Olympian in 2016 in the steeplechase, and uh, was very successful at that event. She was a two time Canadian champion in that event, actually, and competed at the World Cross Country Championships last year as well. She was seventh in this event at the Canadian Championships last year and has a personal best of 15.29.32, choosing to focus on the 5,000 meter this year over the steeplechase. So it maintains a pretty tight group, it's stretched out a little bit, but there's at least a dozen women in that lead pack. That is what is so exciting for me about, I won't stop talking about it, distance running in Canada. Really all of our events are growing in their depth, ability and talent. It's, it's really thrilling to be a part of, but I remember, you know, the shoe technology has changed. Things have improved. We know that, but there was a time not that long ago, we're just having any women in Canada under the 1520 barrier for the year would have been, you know, a, a success. There were many years where we had one or two, but certainly not the depth that we have now, not the depth below the 1630 barrier as well. And 619 approximately was that 2000 meter split. So that was a 310,000. So fairly consistent running actually. As I say that, they're really packed up. And it's been at the lead, Shauna Chisholm out of Nova Scotia for the Fighting Irish. The Notre Dame competitor in the NCAA continuing to take the charge. Notre Dame Fighting Irish, not the Nova Scotia yes, Fighting Irish. Absolutely. <laughs> they're an easy, an easy confusion to make. <laughs> now, Chisholm has been comfortable running at the front and the rest of the pack have been comfortable to just let her do that. She hasn't been able to pull away. And there's a lot of talent tucked in behind her, including Sabu Stafford, the Canadian record holder, the championship record set back in 2003 by Emily Mondor. That was 1508.90. Yes, the late great Emily Mondor. The most tenacious distance runners that Canada has seen. Her records live on. On the outside there as well, you see Bassett. So Rebecca Bassett, the 29 year old, she was the 2022 NACAC bronze medalist in this event and ran 16-15 there. She is a 15-32 athlete at her best. You know, it's, it's an interesting time thinking about the fact that we're only three years removed from the last Olympics instead of the normal four. And I'm making that comment because Debut Stafford in that purple kit on the rail is currently in fifth. Julianne Staley 
the 2021-2020 Olympian in this event is fourth from the back, and she's had a bit of a difficult time refinding her groove over the last couple of years as well. And it, I think in some ways, because I, I lived it with them to a degree, shows what it, what it went into and what it took out of us to get to those games in such trying times around the 2020-2021 era. So, of course, we wish all of these runners the best recovery and good success moving forward, but it also opens the door for exciting new storylines to develop, like, like what is happening on track. So it's Chisholm continuing to lead the way. Bassett on her shoulder right now. And they're coming up to the 3,000 meter split. And they're going to come through that in about 9.31. 9.31.01 is what Bassett is clocked at through that 3K split. So once again, they've been pretty consistent. They were 309 for the opening thousand, 310 for the next, and then 311 for the one after that. So really not a lot of movement, although we're seeing a bit more separation now as that pace and the effort begins to build for these runners. That's really what the grind of the 5,000 is. This is Maxime Levier at five meters, zero five. And he clears on his second attempt and takes over the lead. And they're going to move the bar up to 5'10". Derek Theodore has passed his second two attempts here, strategizing when to jump to try and win the competition. So Leve leads. Theodore is second. Filipek out and will collect the bronze medal. Now it's Bassett leading the way. Lawrence Caron has also made her way to the front of this pack, or near the front of this pack. Also in there is Graceland Larkin, former Canadian champion. And Kate, I don't know how many of these competitors would have seen, if they weren't racing, but seen the performance by Debut Stafford at the Jerome Classic earlier this month. She ran a massive final 400 meters to come out with the win. So you know she's got that speed. So certainly can't count her out. Well, you can never count out any of the Stafford family, frankly. Of course, we're going to see younger sister Lucia in action in the 1500, looking to defend her title there in the coming days. But they are the most tenacious gritty bunch i think i've ever met and they will push themselves to extremes you know push through things to uh through discomfort to be able to achieve what they're set out to do we mentioned that it hasn't been the year that debut stafford wanted again she is a two-time olympian fifth in the tokyo games in the 1500 and then in 2022 was diagnosed with a sacral stress fracture that completely set her out for the season and took quite a while to come back from and um, the sacrum, of course, such a pivotal part of your physical structure. So that was uh, a challenge that she hadn't faced before and has done all she can in the smartest way possible to overcome. But it has been a long road back to recovery. And now for the first time, we're seeing Brianna Scott on the outside asserting herself. Again, the defending champion, surprise champion from last year. She's also a excellent road runner she was fifth at the vancouver half in february fourth at those jerome games where you just mentioned debut stafford had that killer last lap yeah, about 12 40 at that four kilometer split and again 309 to 311 it's been bang on this whole time well, and here comes the defending champion inching her way up this field. Debut Stafford also doing the same. She's going quite wide here as she's trying to get around Scott. And now another charge being made on the outside. And that I think is Caitlin Ayers. We haven't talked a lot about her. She's a 1537 best. 
and that was set this year. So they have 800 meters to go. It always feels good when you're inside the final thousand. You have less than a thousand meters left in the 5,000. But Ares was a just an absolute standout on the U Sports scene and is back training in with the London Western program and has been you know, focusing on Olympic qualifying for years now and has really hacked off a large amount from her personal bests over the in the process. Going wide there is Eleanor Barron. She's out in lane two, trying to move up a couple of places here, about 600 meters left to go here. Caitlin Ayers, we should mention, has great strength behind her as well. She was third at the Canadian Cross Country Championships back in 2022. And then last year, she was the silver medalist at the Canadian 10,000 meter championships. Also fourth at the Canadian 10K championships. But now it is the speedster, the 15 specialist, the first woman in Canadian history under four minutes in the 1500. <clears throat> Excuse me, Gabriella DeVue Stafford taking to the lead. She's got four Canadian championships. Those all have been in the 1500 meters, looking for her first crown in the 5000. And we saw the speed that she possesses on full display at the Jerome. But here comes the defending champion, Brianna Scott. She's up into second. Can she chase down W. Stafford? 200 meters left to go. W. Stafford trying to pull away. She's doing so. How can Scott manage this? Can she counter? Brianna Scott trying to chase down the Canadian Olympian as they come into the final straightaway. Debut Stafford holding off Scott and Debut Stafford is going to win her first Canadian title over 5,000 meters. It's her fifth Canadian title overall. The defending champion Scott will finish in second place 15.33.50 for Stafford. She closes in 64 seconds. Well, that's the Gabby that we know and love. What a phenomenal performance. She is a showwoman because she is just so good at making herself go to the places she needs to in order to get the job done. 15.33.50. As you said, now a five-time national champion. Brianna Scott, last year's winner, comes across the line for second. And then it will be Gracelyn Larkin claiming the bronze medal for Canada. Well, Stafford, she moved herself into the lead. 450 meters left to go and then had a huge final lap as we've come to expect from her. And she takes the Canadian title here at the 2024 Bell Trials.